Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Ross here, and this is episode 9 of Millennium Dawn Mod, playing as the newly formed Soviet Union. The year is 2014, the date is the 2nd of January. I have fast forwarded some time, well, because, well, we need divisions, and we need divisions, a whole lot of them. And you can see I have armies of 100 stationed all over the place, uh, smaller armies of 24 with more uh, kind of specialized units. There's airborne unit there, there's mountains units, there's another airborne. So those are kind of specialized units. We have um, amassed a shit ton of troops around NATO. Also, just, I don't know if this actually happened last episode or not, but guess what? France has become communist. Um, we are working on some other countries, such as Great Britain, is also the United Kingdom. Um, 45% already. Uh, so they might be transferring sometime soon. And guess what? Canada has, Canada has become communist. Uh, United States has not. People's Republic, though, uh, that has so we have some communist states across the grand nation or grand world I would say and well nonetheless let's get the time kind of you know ticking away here uh, we are on fast forward we have some units that need to get that are trained right here and we can see that well these units need to be inserted somewhere somehow some way I don't know where I want to put them I just I really don't we have to start this war, though, relatively soon. We have... Uh, look at how many airplanes we have. Look at that. Oh, dear Jesus. Let's pause. Uh, it's been a while. So we have 1,900 fighters over here. We have 5,000 on close air support. We have uh, 4,900 on strategic air bombing. We have 3,700 that can do naval, uh, naval strikes and 6,200 that can do port strikes. And that is just in this small little area right here. Now, that's all... I mean, that is quite literally just everything. We can assign all here. Uh, oh, there's four more wings. Uh, let's see if we can go to the bottom. Okay. So we got four more wings that we can kind of throw in here. All close air support. So that's that down there. We could try to maybe put some air aircraft down here. 200, 200, 800. Okay, this is 2,000. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to jump, uh, drop in a whole bunch of these uh, UAVs down here. Um, I'll, I'll come back once I fill this airport. Okay, so I did take some time there. I actually deployed a shit ton of more aircraft. Deployed some here in northern Romania, the Black Sea, and also in Turkey to kind of help our very soon to be pushes across different fronts here. Now, we have an epic shit ton. One, two, three, four, five, six, probably 700 divisions here. And, well, I still kind of want more. Um, <laughs> I'm just kind of greedy. I don't know how much more I want. I think actually we're just going to deploy this and put it into an army here. Um... Yeah, he looks pretty good here. Uh, we're gonna give him a mission though of, uh, there's a lot of units up here, so I would like to kind of, to reinforce this area. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna reinforce it though. I think I'm gonna reinforce it on this line. Okay, so that's that line, and we're gonna try to get a war, a mission of, uh, come on. There we go. So that's his mission. Uh, he's gonna deploy up there. And now I got more units I'm gonna throw up there as well. And we're just gonna throw some more units up there as they come across. We're gonna wait, I think for maybe one more year or two more years. Um, I might cut some out. I think 2016, since it is 2016, will be a great time to start this war. Um, it's just, I, I would like, I want more. And I know I'm being greedy. We still got five million, uh, though, in reserves. We have a shit ton of nuclear bombs. I, you know, people have said, like, don't use too many nuclear weapons. I'm going to try not to. I really am. But there's no promises with that. Um, I'm going to take some of this time, though, to kind of deploy some more aircraft. As, like, we have, like, you know, we can deploy 2,000 here. And we have so many attack aircraft that are just sitting here being unused. So I would like to kind of fill out these airports as best as possible and get in um, as much air support across everywhere that we can. 
Now, I know I can't necessarily use all this air combat um, and air power effectively because there's just going to be so much to kind of micromanage and move it as fast as possible is going to be quite difficult. But we can definitely take the time right now as things are just preparing and just deploy some uh, kind of everywhere that we can. Uh, try to take down these numbers here. And as we take them down, well, it's just going to get overall better. And we got a shit ton of UAVs. It's an epic shit ton of UAVs. So I'm going to fill out this airport. And this uh, airport I'm going to dedicate to this southern Iraq area that we failed to capture like two episodes ago. Um, maybe it was last episode. But we're just going to put it like southern Iraq right there. And then we're just going to kind of redo its missions here. Okay, wow, look at this. A coup in the United Kingdom. Let's pause this. The United Kingdom uh, has succumbed to its public demands. Their politicians have been ousted and now replaced by a new, more popular movement. So our uh, goal has definitely worked here. And before we go see over there, let's do a uh, convoy, nope, search and destroy mission. We're gonna do a search and destroy mission on our border here uh, to try to protect that from the United States. We have an epic shit ton of missions over here. Just, you know, we're trying to control up and down the seaboard. Uh, just in, when we go to NATO. We are not going to be too worried about over here, though, because we just don't have the port facilities to kind of to dedicate over here. Once we can kind of take out Europe, then we'll be worried about um, that. So the British Union, look at that. That's a nice flag right there. Who is that guy? Robert David Griffith? I, I hope that's not a real guy. Um, I, I mean, the not the like real party leader right now. I I, I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, so the British Union is a NATO faction with other na nations. I don't know if it's in this mod, if they can actually leave or not. It will be interesting to see if they leave NATO. Um, I don't feel like they will. Uh, I mean, we're going to improve relations as best we can. Uh, we're going to cancel the boost... Um, Okay. We're going to cancel the air boost as well. Cancel, but improve relations. Uh, what's Germany? Germany is not going much at all. Uh, Switzerland is fine. Poland is not really doing... I don't think we're actually doing anything with Poland. Uh, we were just really trying to take out the massive uh, organizations. Like, United States is still there but i mean we can uh, cancel the boost party there but we can improve our relations and also we'll guarantee the independence there um i'm fine with inviting other countries into this union that we have of the soviet union <laughs> the new soviet union um because it is the soviet union right so it is a union of states just all controlled by me um even though they're not really going to be a puppet then but and that's neither here nor there. Uh, I think once we get this one up to a hundred, uh, I think that's when the war is going to start. I don't know. I, I think I would be happy with this having a hundred because that's a hundred and that would be like a hundred and fifty divisions ish up there. Um, I would like I made airports up here too. I would like to get some uh, airplanes up here, uh, general attack airplanes. I need some more fighters. Oh, we got recon level four. Um, I would like some more fighters. It seems I'm a little, I've deployed all my fighters. Uh, I need, I don't know if I need more factories to kind of output them. I feel like once this war starts though, we're going to be at a massive deficit of just aircraft in general. Uh, I believe we're going to take heavy losses in pretty much every category there is. Um, oh shit, that's not what I wanted, but okay. Uh... Not what I wanted, but must work. Okay. So we're going to move them all over here. Oh, shit. We need to do research. Uh, 2014 uh, logistics. Yes. Okay. So we're going to go for that logistics. We're going to keep on going through here. I know this is a little bit boring, but this is massively important, especially for grand wars like this. If you cannot outnumber the mil uh, the armies, and you, we all know how much I like just out, you know, manning an army. Uh, you know, especially the enemy army. <laughs> um, but if you can't just straight, you know, 
freaking basically manhandle like arm wrestle through you need to have air power air power is how you turn the tide of battle in this game and that's pretty much standard in all freaking warfare especially in modern warfare and world war ii actually proved that you know pretty easily and rapidly uh, that a ferocious warfare uh, in the air can be devastating to a country but also very morale, uh, you know, morale boosting for another. Um, you know, the air war, the Battle of Britain was obviously very devastating for London, but in the grand scheme, it was actually re really uh, kind of the Achilles heel really early on for Hitler in Germany. Uh, losing the amount of aircraft they did so rapidly put a very massive damper on them. Um, some experts, and I'm not no, I'm definitely no expert, but some experts say that if they transferred that air power over to the Eastern Front against the Soviet Union, that they would have been able to hit Moscow then. Um, because just that more aircraft, they would have been able to kind of use that blitzkrieg kind of style of uh, attack. And just think about how many bombers they had, how many fighters, how many Stukas, how many, just everything in general. If they moved a predominant amount of that force and did not just um, put so much into uh, over Britain, they could have had, had the Russian theater just done, and that would have really turned the tide of the entire war. Uh, Taiwan refuses one country, two systems. The Republic of China has uh, uh, blah, blah, blah from the mainland under which the PRC would have gained control over the Taiwanese foreign affairs, while Taiwan democratic system would have been preserved. Um, okay. Well, China is somehow just this right now, which I don't know how that happened. Uh, I guess during one of the peace to, uh, deals, they got that little piece. Um, I'm not too worried about it, but I guess I could be worried about it. It doesn't even have an island. We do need eventually some... Um, hmm. None of the selected air wings can be transferred here. I didn't want to transfer anything. I just want to see what's here. Tactical bomber. Um... Close air support. Can we just... Where are these guys? Are they on a mission or, or no? I don't think they are. Uh... Oh, well, they, they might have been on a mission, but they just... No, they have no mission, so you can't see them. Well, I'm glad that I looked there. We'll put them over here just for, you know, it'll help for one um, intel level, just in case they put troops over there, just in case there's ships. These guys will hopefully be able to find them. Also, there'll be port strikes, so we can kind of, if Taiwan does join, we can kind of demolish them early on with, uh... oh, and there's close air support. There is no fighters though, unfortunately, but that's okay. Um. Hmm. Okay, so we got air power here. We got air power there. We got air power there. We got air power power everywhere except for the Bismarck Sea, and that's okay. But that's that's quite a lot of air power. That's quite a lot of ships. Uh, I'm very happy with that. Uh, the time is still clicking, ticking, not clicking, but ticking, which is great. Uh, let's see. This will take us to 79 divisions there. I, it's, I don't know what I want to do. I really don't. I don't know how much further I want to wait. Uh, the British Union, uh, oh, they've left. Awesome. That's awesome. Did these guys, oh, they left too. That is two massive entities out of NATO. Out of NATO. Let's improve more relations. Let's uh, guarantee independence um, for now, obviously. Let's go to details for this composite. Uh, we're in 2014. Do we have any more? Nope, we don't have any more there. Okay, let's actually quickly pause here. Um, I guess let's get signal company. That's good. So let's uh, guarantee independence here as well. We got so much diplomatic power. Let's improve our relations some more. Um, 
Let's see here. Can we go into diplomacy? Can we choose uh, communists? Okay, so Cuba. Oh, didn't I pause this? Okay, please. Cuba, guarantee independence. Uh, improve our relations. Uh, we can't invite them. Once we even be able to invite, it'll pop up here. So we don't have to worry about, like, missing something. Um, open country list. Okay, French commune. Um, okay, improve relations. Okay, country list again. Indonesia Republic. Uh, whatever. We'll guarantee independence. We will improve relations. Any communist nation I think I'm going to take. To be quite honest. Uh, so we're... Republic of Mexico. Let's, uh... Oh, no, 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 not that. Improve relations. Okay. Uh, back to open country lists. Republic of China. Uh... People's Republic of China. No faction. I don't know even know where they are, though. The independence is... Guaranteed, huh? Oh no, this is Canada. Whoops, it's not China. Way to just obviously misread that. Uh, diplomacy, I don't know why I keep on Xing that. Yeah, Canada. Um, Mex and Morocco. Ask for military ex in there. Improve our relations. Guarantee independence. Uh, okay, so that's good. We're just going to wait here for a second to invite to faction. Boom. So we, Morocco is now part, and now we control some of the straight there, which is really good. Uh, we're making some moves here, boys. We're making some moves. And ladies, if you're here. But I don't think there's that many. Uh, guarantee independence, yes. Um, improve our relations, yes. Okay. So we got that. I still exiting like a moron. Uh, Soviet Union, it, it, that's us. British Union, uh, we can improve again, but I think we're just maxed out there. Uh, yep, yep, still doing the same mistake. Uh, Venezuela Union, let's uh, improve the relations. Let's guarantee independence. And I think that is pretty much it for that. So we are making some moves here about dismantling NATO. We took out France and the United Kingdom peacefully with just, and also Canada. Don't forget Canada. <laughs> uh, now we just kind of have to work on the United States. I don't think we're going to be able to take out the United States before they actually declare war on us. But we do have Mexico down here. Maybe we'll be able to invite them to a faction. We have Cuba. We have, we have a lot of things. We got Venezuela. So, I mean... France even has some territory over there. Morocco is now part of us. So that will help us um, control that Strait of Gibraltar, which is um, very strategically important. 2018, um, we are definitely are not in 2018. We're in 2014. That's maxed out. Do we have any jets? 2014, 2016 multi-roll. Let's do that. Um, we'll get a new jet out, and we'll use maybe some of our... We don't really have much air experience as it is. We haven't been to war for quite some time. So, okay, so that's 102. Let's put, turn it on fast here. I think I'm going to wait. I, I am going to wait. We're going to cut out some time, though, because I have been cutting out some time. In this episode, I think we are going to see a uh, war with NATO. But I think I want to wait and cut out some time until at least some of these diplomatic situations resolve itself. Okay, what I'm going to do with timing it is I'm actually going to th put these all on one more production value, and that is when we're going to start the war. So we're going to build up, hopefully, some uh, reserve forces to reinforce all our troops that we have, all these divisions, um, and actually supply them. So we're actually going to put these all on just one more rotation, and that will determine when we go to war. Once this all clears out, then we'll go to war, and uh, it will be grand. It will be a grand war. A great war for the mother Russia. Okay, so I have fast forward. It is the morning of Thanksgiving on American soil. Thanksgiving is an American holiday where they give thanks to things that happened in the year before. 
and just in general. And in this early morning hours, as families are sleeping and getting ready to hit the roads to go visit grandma, well, the great mighty empire of the Soviet Union is launching a massive attack on the NATO allies. We can see we have multiple pair drop uh, kind of orders going on all through Poland into Lithuania and other areas such as Latvia and Estonia. We have now 150 divisions up on Sweden, and that's about almost 200 divisions up there. We have moved 100 divisions over onto Korea, just because I forgot that Korea is kind of an ally, and just in case, something to hold them there. We have multiple, multiple submarine fleets. They're guarding our uh, Eastern Front from the evil American Empire, so they don't come and try to backdoor us. Um, we have multiple armies all throughout Europe ready to a uh, kind of pounce and now we are going to set in motion all of our attack orders across the world. It is a massive attack that, well, is just underway. And let's go in available war goal and we are going to declare war against them and yes may god help us all because well we are declaring war against every single nation that we can now do remember that the united kingdom as well as uh france is not in this now because well we've turned them into um soviet union or just communists in general um just come on declare war anytime now it's it's a little and there we go so we have declared war. Do we have any other? Okay, so we don't have any more war goals. Okay, there it is. It's under war. We are declared war against everybody now. And now NATO is going to kind of come in and kind of fuck our shit up. And we can see right here all these countries that are now are going to war with us. And we're just going to clear them through. Um, and now it's just one massive war. Uh, we already have an unruh naval battle. Look at this. Uh, a destroyer shrunk or <laughs> shrunk, sunk already, which is grand. Uh, let's check in the uh, diplomats. Where is that diplomacy? Diplomacy, how are we doing? Well, we are at war with pretty much all of Europe, uh, but France and the British Union have stayed out of it. We have to remember, we do have the revolutionary Morocco. Let's call our allies into war as well, because why the fuck not? Uh, we are winning massive amounts of battles. Uh, our paratroopers might be failing. Uh, hopefully not. Uh, but we will see. We need to make sure that also we have air domination in there. I don't know if we will, um, but we have to keep an eye out for those things. Um, what are these? Okay, so this is 150 and 24 and 24. Um, well, it seems that whatever they're doing, they're doing well. So let's for now just let that be. Um, French, uh, what? The French commune has joined NATO? Now that's fucked up. That is f just entirely fucked. The French commune joined NATO. That's just, what the fuck? Seriously? Seriously. Seriously. Ugh. That's just irritating. Beyond all belief. Um... Yeah, I worked so hard to get them uh, to be communists, and now they are just not, they just joined. Like, what the fuck? Okay, so we have now established a kind of, uh, we're gonna go for here. We're gonna try to get into this point here. Uh, I don't know what the point is of all my paratroopers, to be quite honest. Um, it was just kind of an idea. Uh, I want to cut off supply routes and then also to kind of just divert from the front lines as best we can. Uh, we'll see how this works. Lithuania has capitu capitulated. Iraq has capitulated, which is great for us. Um, do we have any diplomacy issues down here? Okay, no, we do not. Um, okay, so this 100-man army, let's get them... Um, 
We're gonna get them on order there, and then there, and... Uh... I wish I could tell this guy to engage. Yeah, there we go, engage. Okay, so he'll come from the bottom side, uh, and hopefully go push through there. We have more military factories. Um, we, we're really short guns. That's because I just got a new gun, so I'm just gonna build a shit ton of um, gun factories for the new guns. Uh, and hopefully that, that catches up there. I know that we have uh, we have issues. Uh, gosh, we have issues all around. It's not really issues. We just need to kind of take our time here. Uh, we need to extend our uh, edit mode. Okay, extend that. Okay. Uh, gosh, they've kind of jumped into that pocket. Uh, we overran something there. Um, mm. I don't know if this is the correct thing to do, but... Okay. We're gonna push from south there. Uh, let's see how our northern front is doing. The northern front seems unmoved. Uh, let's go check diplomacy, see over here. Make sure, okay, so we are at war with this little nation right here. Um, okay, let's get uh, one, two, shit. One, no, one, two, Four. Okay, let's get these four. Naval invasion from uh, he here to there. Go. Oh, come on. What the hell? Naval invasion here. not kind of moving. Soviet Union is called out. Okay, good. We need that. I don't know why that's not working. But uh, we'll worry about that some other time. <laughs> okay, so we are pushing in through Turkey. Uh, we are pushing pretty well into here as well. Uh, we got pockets here. We got pockets. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're thrusting into Poland, hopefully get into Warsaw. Um, I want to try to kind of make this uh, a wider front, if we can, without getting squashed in the meantime. Uh, Expeditionary forces India wants to send, except uh, we got military. Oh, we got, what's this? Oh, yeah, we lost one submarine. We took four light cruisers, heavy cruiser, and nine destroyers down. That's awesome. Uh, don't know why Germany's all the way out there, but we will not complain. Um, I don't know why this is tripled up here, um, but we're gonna give another order to kind of... Uh, and engage. So we can see that we have shit just all over the place now. Um, we need to... I don't know if we should be aggressive or not. Uh, our lines are just all fucked, to be honest. Our lines are just all fucked right now. But that's okay. It's okay to be a little fucked with this many troops going on and moving. I, I feel like we're moving, having some progress up here in north. Uh, I could be wrong, but I feel like the North is doing something. Uh, we should be able to close this off, which will be really good. Um, okay, come on. You need to go rescue this guy. 
You're not being aggressive enough. Uh, stop. Definitely not being aggressive enough. We need to save that guy. Come on. Speed up time here. Unread naval battles. Oh, yeah. Look at all those freaking ships that are being sunk. Oh, oh, that's just, that's just too, that's just too awesome. That's just, that's great. That is great. Oh, America just lost more too. Free military factories. Let's get those, let's get those in. Uh, Any of what's sent to stuff. Uh, I feel like there should be more, but... Whatever. Uh, 31 divisions. We're gonna throw 31 divisions into this one. It's just the closest one. Okay, these guys are pushing through. Let's see if we can get Istanbul. Uh, kind of push through this under underbelly really quick. We, can, we have severe momentum here in the south. Let's use it when we got it. Let's get to this capital. Massive m momentum in the south happening. We're striking fiercely into the underbelly. Before the United States is able to get across the Atlantic, we, are, we really need to get as much territory as possible. Um, we need to also make sure we don't necessarily overextend ourselves too much like we are right now with some of these uh, more presumptuous, or not presumptuous, but overambitious, zealous uh, plans of mine with the airborne units. Um, I don't know if it's done its job in distracting units. Um, I feel like it has, and I guess as long as I feel like it has, it's all that matters, right? Uh, let's let's see if we can kind of crush through these. Um, come on, just need to close this in. We're doing really well. This is not doing very well, to be quite honest. These are going to be very very upset losses of ours. Let's get... Uh, can we see if we can push through here? Get some resup... Uh, we just need to push anywhere in there to kind of get resupplies in there. Get some... Allevi uh, alleviate some of the pressure. Uh, and we are pushing. We are pushing. That's, that's all we need is just pushing and pushing it. Uh, we're doing great down here as well. We got Istanbul. Let's get the other side. Let's get this one down. Let's get these guys down. This army is doing awesome work. We almost need to kind of resituate these armies. We're... We're doing very well in the south. Not so well in the north, but that's okay. That's where a lot of the troops are. And you can see them all kind of trickling through right now. We look at the diplomacy. This country here is, uh, this is a, oh shit, look at that. Yeah, we need to push through here. This right here is just a neutral country. So this is entirely cut off. We can cut off a severe amount of troops down here. Let's let's do it, let's push it. Uh, Bulgaria has ca capitulated. That's done, boom. Uh, now Greece is kind of left on its own. Um, Okay, let's... Can we get Athens' war goal? And... I don't know which army he is. Uh... Shirt. Okay. We're pushing through Turkey now as well. Um... Let's push here as well. Okay. Poland is going going down. Lithuania or Estonia is about to collapse as well. Uh, let's push here. Um, how's okay? Our northern front's holding, and that's the key thing. Is Sweden not at war with us? No, Sweden's not at war with us. Interesting. So this army here has been doing jack shit. So we're this 150 army. Okay, let's um, shit. What do I need to do? Delete all orders. Yep. Uh, get them online. So that's just a 24-man army that's been doing that. Just FYI. Um, we 
Romania has capitulated. We're taking out ma a massive amount of co countries here. This is what we need. Just need to push, push, push. Poland is collapsing. It, if it doesn't collapse soon, I'm going to be very surprised. Uh, let's see if we can kind of push through here in this underbelly area. Uh, they're kind of overextended there. We're overextended, though. So we need to really watch what we do and how we do it. Um, we can see that all these territories right here, we just... We took, but there's still a shit ton of units there. So we need to be extremely careful about how we go about that. So let's try to push in. Also, let's be careful. <laughs> um, Double-edged sword there. We are pushing into Greece as well. It's 5 December. Look at that. Uh, we're doing very well in Turkey now as well. Rapidly increasing our gains. Uh, we have more free military factories. Let's get that... Uh, more guns. Oh, the guns are catching up there. Uh, even though we do not have a shit ton of other th materials. So we're, we're, we're catching up. And that's all that matters is we are catching up. Uh, okay, let's keep this clock ro uh, rolling here. And now that we know that we can move troops off of Sweden border, that's going to be a little bit helpful. Uh, uh, let's see here. Can we get this guy over here? Okay. Come on. Poland really has to be quick. It, it has to be close. Norway is going to be a real bitch, huh? To be quite honest, like... Uh, we just need to kind of push through here to uh, get these out guys not in reinforcements and not be able to get supplied. Um, Greece is going. War is grand. Gotta love all this war. Um, select all. Let's do... There, and then let's do there for the war. Okay, go. Okay, they're pushing very well. The troops from, uh, oh man, look at how many lines there are. We really need to redo our lines, but I'm not too worried about it right now. We just need to keep on going with this momentum. Uh, when we see issues that we just can kind of manually override like we are right now, collapse in our targets. Uh, once, shit, let's see, this is what I was worried about right here. He's, this is very dangerous. Um, uh, very, very dangerous right there. Okay. We cut off that, those troops. Uh, that's good. And I don't even know what's going on there. <laughs> uh, the last amount of troops are kind of getting crushed there. And man, we are so close, so close of taking this capital here. And I believe that would be it if it just would fall. Um... I could be wrong. How's Norway doing? Sorry for the pausing everything, but this is just how I do battles. This is how I do it. Okay, we're pushing in. We're pushing in. We're closing off the top and the part of Norway. Uh, Norway, I think, is pretty much secure now. Poland is going down. Romania is, is still kind of fighting there. Um... But it's really not the Romania fighting. But we... Man, look at that. We've made some awesome strides already against NATO. And yeah, I know I freaking waited for the uh, overwhelming numbers. But that's just what you have to do sometimes. A uh, whole bunch of naval battles here. Wow, look at all that. Um, we didn't lose that much. But yeah, we'll take it. And I think that's going to have to end this episode. Because I got to severely edit this. Let's just took a, take a look at the diplomacy map. Um... We are not at war with the United Kingdom or Canada, which is good. We do not have any faction invites, though, sadly. Um, but for some reason, the French uh, commune did join. Um, but alas, I don't think it's going to be that much of an issue. Um, our allies have been called. Um, but it doesn't seem like they're doing much. But alas, that doesn't really matter. We are making great strides. Let's get a quick estimate of what we've lost here to date 126,000 casualties which honestly for just a little over tw uh, almost 20 days of battle is pretty bad um but uh, i don't think it's going to be that bad norway's lost 140 poland 178 46 slovakia 134,000 for turkey 141,000 for french commune the united states has 456 potential divisions the french commune 930 potential this is why i made so many 
uh, divisions. So hopefully we can kind of push back and push back and push back. Um, we're, we're doing well, but that's going to be the episode. And it's gonna be a long episode, so I'm sorry. But welcome back to the, the channel, guys. This is gonna be epic war, and it's gonna be bloody. It's gonna be amazing. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up. You definitely leave a comment below. Holy shit, 25 destroyers got wrecked. Um, as always, though, I'm the Flying Ross, and I'll check you guys next time.